God damn it. You don't even really have to give much of an introduction. You've all heard of Thailand. This country is the 21st century tourism powerhouse that took the world by storm. Will I do my best for this entire video? Yes, I am. Oh, so God. So if you're feeling crabby, don't poo uh, bro. what time it is. Porn. It's time to learn geography. We need stuff with the dad jokes, bro. Due to continuity issues, we have to film this out of sequence. Oh shit, look at those hey Everybody, your host Barb's Get Your Juggies Now merchandise at juggiesnow.com. It's not selling out if it's your brand. Thailand, the land of smiles. And it is also the home of Julie, our next co-host. Say hi, Julie. How you doing? Yay! Oh, also we- By the way, did we take a look at the, you know, thumbnail? Uh, a lot of Thai girls, so definitely my man Barb's is having a good time. Uh, but- He's saying right now there's just like one co-host. Maybe they're gonna do different appearances. I we got uh, Anya and uh, Solom. They're also gonna be in this episode uh, later on in the uh, episode. You'll there we see go. Them. Uh, anything you want to say to the subscribers about Thailand? You should visit. Also, <laughs> <laughs> we're not Taiwan. Have any of you gone to Thailand? I haven't been to just Asia in general. My mom is okay, in Dubai don't, don't right get now. Confused. So no. I guess that's no, right. Not confused. Kinda cool. Pad see you it, shall we? <laughs> they are the crossroads of the Sinosphere and Indosphere and the Malay world. And then they have the inland mountains yeah, and the true. coastal waters. And there's so much going on. First of all, the country is located in Southeast Asia on what is commonly referred to as the Indo-Chinese Peninsula, bordering four other countries and is shaped like Dumbo the flying elephant with a really long disfigured trunk. In that really, long a very odd shape, you know, uh, the one that Thailand trunk. They have has. a long bicoastal access section on the Kra Isthmus. No. Don't include all the <laughs> cities that could be classified as connecting to the larger Bangkok Metropolitan Bay region, like Nontaburi, Chonburi, or Prakret. The second largest cities would be Hat Yai in the south, close to Malaysia, and Nakhon Ratchasima, just a bit up northeast from Bangkok. Nice. Nonetheless, due to the heavy demand for tourism, the second and third largest and busiest airports would be Phuket International on the west side and Chiang Mai I've heard about the Phuket. North. Speaking of which, the country has about 1,430 islands and Phuket being the largest one, conveniently attached by a bridge to the mainland. The country has four main domestic rail lines that reach every corner of the country, connecting to all their neighbors except Myanmar. There used to be a line now known as the Death Railway, but it was discontinued after it's World West War II. Taiwan. <laughs> Today, they are working on rebuilding it though. Finally, Thailand has two <laughs> international land disputes, one with Cambodia over the hill of Phnom Trap with the Preah Vihar temple, and the other with Malaysia here on these incredibly small rocks in the middle of the sea known as Kokra and Losin Island. Losin has a small lighthouse and that's about it. Oh, and it's not a dispute, but Thailand also has this weird salient called the Three Pagodas Pass that juts into the Burmese town of Payatonzu along the border. This is one of the only few places where tourists are allowed to get a one-day visa to enter into Myanmar from Thailand if they wish. Just that I throw that in there. Keep in mind, oftentimes Thai people also divide. What's up? What's up, bro? How are you doing? Don't know much about Thailand. I do uh, know they have a law that allows people to be arrested and sentenced to prison for talking bad about the king. Damn, pretty rough. You, you definitely... I didn't knew Thailand was that kind of country, you know? By their country into four to six But I guess Singapore is also what are these has some crazy regions, laws, right? They are the northern Thailand, Lana, and the northern eastern Thailand, Isan, central Thailand, Siam, and southern Thailand, what? Ta no Tam Tamra Linga? Yeah. Wow, you never used that word. No. Wow. So how do you say southern Thailand in Thai? It's like literally Pad South Thai. Yeah. yeah. Correct me if anything is wrong. Please. Okay. Yeah. Now, also in regards to Bangkok, Thais actually do not call it Bangkok. All right. So, um, uh, how do you say Bangkok in Thai? Okay. So, Kung Thep Mahanakorn Amon Ratana Kosin Mahin Thara Ayutthaya Mahadilok Pop Nopparat Rashtani Budirom Udom Rashtaniwet Mahasathan Amon Piman Awatan Satit Sakka Tatiya Wisadu Kamvasit. What? Is that the... No way, no way that's the full name, like... Okay, come on, maybe that's like the official name, but there's no way people in Thailand, that's like... Every... When you want to go to Bangkok, do you say that long-ass name? I don't think so, right? I mean... 
Literally the longest name of any city in the world with spacing. Now, for many years, Bangkok was listed as the world's most visited city with over 22 million nice. tourists. Nice. Meaning that for the first time in the 21st century, they dethroned Paris. And you, Julia. Oh, we shit. We have 24 hours of food and we have night they, markets. We I thought Germans had markets, long long names, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough about Bangkok, though. Another thing you have to understand is that time... I, also, the Welsh have pretty long uh, names on their cities. With cloudy skies, but in the sunshine in northwest Wales at RAF Mona, just up the road from Clan Bair Push Gwingish Gogedek and Drobo, Clan Tisilio Gogogog, the temperature got to 21 Celsius. That is administratively a constitutional monarchy. monarchy. There we go. There's the, the king. king Maha Rachlat Longkorn or Rama X of Chakri dynasty, taking the throne after his father died in 2016. He is believed oh, wow. to be one so, of the richest monarchs in the world, and since 2020, has pretty much recent. spent most of his time living in Bavaria, Germany, after the pandemic. As a constitutional monarchy, huh. all government affairs are uh, handled right. by the National Assembly and Prime Minister okay. since 1932. Nonetheless, even though the king's role is restricted by the constitutional law, he still holds a huge level of power and influence, mostly thanks to the Thailand Laissez Laissez Majesté laws. Yes. This means that people who criticize the king, his family, and even their pets can face heavy charges if it's strong or not. Oh shit, there we go. Even his pets. So what, if you criticize the king's dog, you go to prison? Uh, just fucking brutal, man. It's not enforced on most people except uh, big influencers and stuff, even though it's technically not restricted to them. Holy crap. No comments. No comment. <laughs> the pets. Moving on. That's fucking crazy. The Portuguese were the first Europeans to come in. They called it Siam. Over time, their global interaction developed more than yet. They never in became colonized. we never been colonized. Woo! Well, there was what the time the impact. Yeah, I think similar uh, to Ethiopia, right? Well, I guess, could you call Ethiopia colonized because of the Italians in World War II? Ethiopia never surrendered, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So I think in Japan, they, they forced Thailand to join them, but I don't think it was like colonization. Well, Japan got really close to war in World War II, but it was like... All right, I'm taking over you. You're going to be part of my empire. Considering who's surrounding us, that might not be a good idea. Oh, yeah. Okay, but you have to give me free passage and join us against the Allied powers. Okay, fine, sure, whatever. <laughs> Do it. I officially declare war on the U.S. and Britain. Oh, I am not delivering this news to them. Hey, allies, I totally didn't mean to declare <laughs> war on you guys. It was just a joke to make it look like we weren't against Japan. Wait, you declared war on me? No, I wasn't even paying attention, but uh, okay, sure. Woo! Saved by indifference. Hey guys, remember Aaron? Uh, he was in the Sullivan Talk episode. Haha. <laughs> and yeah, they got by. Yeah, nice. Yeah, colonized, even with Japan. Well, in any case, with six UNESCO heritage sites, over 40,000 temples, wow. there is never short of notable places to see. Ooh. And with that, 40,000 temples. Look at that, the White Temple. Holy fuck, that looks crazy good. Like, beautiful, like so beautiful. I've never seen this in my life. This one also looks pretty cool. Century of, of Thrut truth thailand is never short of Damn. notable places to see and very that, nice uh, very Som, nice why don't you take this the notable places of thailand Som, you got this we're out okay so my most favorite place in thailand pp that's like uh -huh. on the south of thailand it's a very beautiful island chiang mai definitely visit it has a lot of culture chiang rai that's like a place that you can actually visit like a oh. lot of elephant they have like an elephant what is that called like sanctuary and you can also like see tribe people at um in a mountain and then oh like, nice oh was wait capital city tribe people at, there's a tribe um, called Karen, the Karen tribe. That sounds pretty hilarious. Hello. Look who came to visit us. It's my little Chihuahua. This has tones like Vietnamese and Cynthic languages. Nice. Ayutthaya was capital city of Thailand. So what do you think about Thailand, huh? Before they moved to Bangkok, or old temple mm. building, old palace. On the west is um, the city my child, my daughter. that has a lot of beautiful waterfall. In the central of Thailand, it's called Lop Buli. That's like a city that's monkey everywhere. It's pretty interesting. People not I've seen that, I think, on TikTok. To try to stuff from you. It's really funny. Some it's of the world's best architecture is in Thailand. Yeah, it shows. It's really, it's extremely, I was surprised by the temples. 
Beatles, honestly. I'll be careful if you go to that city. My favorite place that I always go is called Khao San Road, and then there's a lot of street food there on that. Um, I've never tried Thai visit. food. I don't Thank know. So. That's a lie. Well, I think we I are know. just getting started because part of the reason Thailand is so colorful is because naturally it just is that way. That means we move on to the next segment. <laughs> And that is... So, thanks to its location in the tropics, Thailand is no stranger to extreme nature conditions. You'll definitely see the side of Thailand if visiting. Thailand is located at the convergence of three major tectonic plates, Ooh. the Australian, Indian, and Eurasian plates, with numerous fault lines cracking mostly throughout the west and northern parts of the country. These fault zones are essentially what create the shield of mountain ranges, like the Dangrek, Pichabun, the Dona, and the Thai Highlands, where you can also find the highest peak of the country, Doi Intanon. I also gotta be very careful with this video like you got a copyright strike because of geography now i don't know if you know that but gotta be really careful with these videos fully within thailand the chi river otherwise thailand shares the mighty mekong river on the border with lao the largest natural lake in thailand is way down south songkla lake which is divided into three parts and it does have an opening to the bay of thailand holy the shit part. that's gangsta in india once a gang of monkeys assassinated a major true story holy shit imagine that imagine reading that in the newspaper or on twitter right whatever's your thing thailand gets kind of long in like south chile true the town of i mean chile i think chile Lake is like the longest country isn't it water. otherwise up in the mountains in the west the scenic but that's pretty long is the largest res not just any major the major of new delhi the capital and largest city Oh, what the hell? Imagine if like the Mexico City Major was killed by monkeys. It's just unbelievable. But hey, what a great story. It sort of reminds me when the, the, the story of, of the Dutch eating, eating their prime minister. It's just one of those things, right? By us, newly industrialized country, making the eighth largest economy in Asia. Second, Southeast Asia after Indonesia. When it comes to nice. business, Thailand is a hustler and we're good at it. Walking down the <laughs> alleyways in Bangkok, you will find almost any type of vendor or profession, whether legitimate or questionable. We always have legitimate industry. Yeah, what are you talking about? People always go towards the wacky side. Yeah, that's... Yeah. There's That's a stereotype. For one, since the 80s, Thailand has designated 25% of land area of forest protection and 15% of timber production. It's kind of like Mexico, though. Huge on the there's a uh, decent in industry and there's like the shady exports. Now, here's stuff. Here's to kind of get into the gray zone-ish area. For Thailand, much of the economic activity and numbers are hard to accurately calculate because there is an entire informal sector with underground market activity. Like this Mexico. Called a shadow economy. This could be anything from unreported or misreported vendor sales or illicit black market dealings. Thailand lies, yeah. everybody knows this, within the Golden Triangle. We already talked about this in previous episodes, overlapping three countries in Southeast Asia, which are widely known as the second largest opium producing area on earth after the Golden Crescent in the Middle East. Nonetheless, the government has been cracking down on these types of dealings. Yikes. Putting a heavier emphasis Again, on sort of reminds me to my country. Uh, Thailand has a lot of Makes Auto manufacturing of GDP huh. today and is projecting to grow to 30% by 2030. Instagram once ranked Thailand as one of the top ranked photograph locations on earth. Thailand offers many different types of tourism from medical, gastronomical, sport, and even nature tourism. And uh, speaking of nature, here's uh, Gary Harlow to explain. Yeah, uh, Caleb's not here, but uh, you know, the hat turns anybody into Gary Harlow. So, uh, what's going on, man? Yeah, oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, thanks to their tropical climate, Thailand is definitely brimming with creatures of all sorts. There are fucking kill me. National parks. I fucking hate hey this guy sanctuaries 67 okay well uh, this is not the og guy but i don't know just so annoying now, this makes up i don't know maybe it's just entire me entire country's territory now there's over 280 mammal species everything from leopards to malaysian sun bears gibbons macaques the indo-chinese <laughs> subspecies uh i'd pay to see the major of mexico city fight in a lucha ring <laughs> I'd pay too, and especially because she's like an older woman, uh, so it'd be pretty hilarious to see her fight. Tigers or tigers. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking punch him Speaking in the fucking face. Siamese cat actually originated oh, like the ones from the movie, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how, how it's called. Small 
famous mammal owner called the Kittis Hognose Bat or the Bumblebee Bat. Now, Tommy you know what, guys? I'm sorry if you like the Australian accent, dude. Thank you, Gary. Yes, Thailand uh, uh, is never short of provision as in the world. And today, their cow homily has been declared the world best, best rice seven times out of 13. Is there a competition? Is there a competition that measures who has the best rice? Like, I don't know about you, but for me, rice is rice, you know? Like, Thailand is heavy on gastro diplomacy, which the government initiated in the Global Thai program launched in 2002. Basically, it's a culinary diplomacy initiative that they fund in order to promote Thailand via food across the world. This I like that. All right, I like my food, so. Remote place on Earth. Even like the Arctic Svalbard, Norway has a Thai restaurant. To talk more about food, uh, why don't we bring up Anya? Anya! So, guys, sorry, I like Looney Tunes. So that's my commentary. Just don't sue me, okay? A thick winter <laughs> culture is so huge. I don't know. She's cute. Thailand. We never sleep on the street, off the street, in a small alley. I think most people going out instead of cooking in. Like every oh, really? region, they have their own food culture. Like in the north part of Thailand, khao soy. Khao soy is like a kind of noodle, curry noodle. On top of the noodle, they're gonna have the crispy noodle on top. Yeah, of man, the we're gonna be doing real life lore. You mix it Especially a newest uh, video that he, he launched. Noodle on noodle. Noodle on noodle. The salt, I would say, the most spicy Thai food. Nice, I like that. Crab, okay. Cooking, which is, it could be ribs or ground pork. Central, I think the most normal thing that people know is green curry or red curry. Common guy, pad si iu, pad thai. Oh, yang. pad thai. The most popular ones you find at Thai restaurants yeah, are central. Like normal stuff. The northeast, my region, they have like a million kind of papaya salad. The taste is going to be like. A salad. Can peanut, or you can have isa. I don't know about that one. Which is that come with like fermented anchovy. The Thai restaurant actually just opened close to me. It's good. Thai food is good. Asian food in general, it's just very good. Another dish is like lard, and they usually have it with sticky rice. The main dessert for me, I think, is mango sticky rice. I have my favorite spot, Mavari. I think at Park Soi Tong Lo, that which is the best mango sticky rice. Okay, free plug, I Thank guess. You, Two other things we should also mention: Thailand is one of the largest entomophagous countries on Earth. That is, nations that have a high rate of insect consuming. And you can find that in the street stalls. Uh. Mango rice is so good, really. I have, I haven't tried mango rice, I think. I mean, I, I've tried mango, of course, but not mango rice. I've only had Chinese, Japanese, and some Thai food. We'd like to try more. It looks really good. Yeah, most Pretty of it really good. Other than the insects, I must say. That you can just enjoy. Also, yeah, uh, sorry. Not for me. And it is stronger out there, isn't it? way stronger there was actually a oh, report shit. from zenith international that stated thai people consume more energy drinks than any other country in the world <sighs> averaging at about 11.4 liters that's really bad person, for your heart four though. times more than us americans that's well, a lot have a lot of energies speaking of the energy yeah what the people, fuck that brings us to the next segment oh the... the people the culture that looks really nice though anya so i'm julie answer the question what is a thai person Go. Thai person is like kind. We smile a lot. That's why we call land of smiles. Religious? Yeah, we are religious. Yeah, we are. Think. I think we are an empath. <laughs> <laughs> We're an empath. We could be crazy sometimes. <laughs> yes. One thing that's for sure, Thais are very proud of being Thai. Every day at 8 p.m. and 6 p.m., the national anthem is played on live. Oh. Everybody just stop. Wow. And people would just stop for 40 seconds and stand there until it's over. Anyway, the makeup of Thailand It's a short is anthem. All right. That's kind of weird, right but... For one, Thailand has about 70 million people and the government oh God. officially recognizes 62 ethnic communities that's a lot. found within the country. The I guess most of them of Thai? Peoples, of course, are the ethnic Thai people at somewhere around 86 And Chinese, of maybe? I don't know. It's a little more complicated. The Thais are kind of yeah. broken up into specific groups. The largest ones being the Korat Thai or the Central Thai people that are spread throughout most of the Central Girl country. on the right. They make up about 39% <laughs> of the 
the population. From there, the next son or Thai Lao, mostly found near the border of Lao. They make up about 28% of the population. From there, you have the Kon Wang at about 10% and Southern Thai at about 9%. The largest non-Thai groups though would be Malays. Mostly oh, Malays. I Malaysia, thought it would be Chinese. Cambodian or Khmer peoples. But no, it's not really Cambodia, a thing. Khmer. About 2%. Yeah. And about 8% of the country belongs to other groups. A huge chunk of this being Chinese. Uh. Thailand currency is bought. They use the types of ANC plug outlets and drive both of them. On the left side of That's the funny. Road. Yeah, they simply just did it because most of their neighbors were doing it and they just wanted to join along, not because of British influence. Never colonized. Never. Now, here's where things get a little confusing. Never. Thailand actually has the largest Chinese community outside of Thailand at somewhere around 10 million or about a seventh of the population. However, this group of Chinese people or Sino-Thai yeah. people what? are actually fully assimilated into Thai society. Myanmar and Lao in Laos. How much Lao can you guys understand? I'd say like 70. Oh, 60, 70%. 60, 70%. So it's kind of like... Spanish and Portuguese. People can understand Thai better. Than... Of course, yeah. Yeah. because they, they consume yeah. our yeah, they entertainment and stuff. So the Thai alphabet, yeah. or Abu Gita, is made up of 44 consonant symbols and 16 vowel indicators. Every Thai person knows... The that looks hard as shit, you know? Like, you hit me with that alphabet. I have no idea. What the fuck am I doing? Like, look. This looks similar. Like, there's identical letters here and here. What the fuck is the difference between these letters? They are exactly the same. The, the ones in the middle that looks like W's. Uh, and there's another one that looks like a W. God damn it. Thailand. Otherwise, Thai is a tonal language spoken with five tones. Oh, meaning no. you can make an entire sentence using just one syllable but changing the tone. For example. Oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so that, that is like. My 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 no so doesn't burn. I love this one. Pa 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 pa. All right. I'm gonna add subtitles. <laughs> now officially Thailand yep. has freedom of religion. However, the vast majority are Buddhist at about. I wonder how it's like to know different alphabets. That's true though, because even knowing English and Spanish and a little bit of Portuguese, it's the same alphabet. But knowing, I don't know, Cyrillic, for example, I don't know, you know, but it'd be cool. This makes Thailand the country with the second highest Buddhist population in the world. After yeah. China, even though China is only about 20% Buddhist. Like I said, there was a time in my life Buddhism when I was really into Buddhism. Thai folklore and Hindu overlap within it. Within temples and shrines, you might see many Hindu or folk deities depicted like Brahma. What is the spirit house? You put it there and then do some kind of ritual, you know, ceremony to bless in that house. For a that, blessing. Yeah, for a All blessing right. so that that spiritual figure will protect your home. Hmm. From harm. And you find them everywhere in Thailand. And they usually give them offerings like flowers, incense, fruits, and for some reason a lot of them have like strawberry fanta. That's like a thing oh, I see oh, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> because of the color. The color yeah. red, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Thailand also has a heavy culture of short-term Buddhist ordination in which many right. men are encouraged to serve as monks for a period of time. Monks are not allowed to touch women unless if it's like an emergency. The, oh, the last line of the W is longer. The reason their language has so many W's is because they keep winning. Sorry, but I had to though. <laughs> that was that was good though. That was good. It's because we use the Latin alphabet. Yeah, I think that's the now, best. Now, going you know? to Thailand, you Latin will notice alphabet. how much the royal family is integrated into daily life. Every neighborhood has a shop and sell approved images of them, and they're always on the wall. Oh, you won't get too much into it because kind of like Saudi Arabia. It's a hot button issue amongst the people, but essentially, Thailand has had many controversial monarchy-related incidences within their history. We're not going to get much more into this. If you want to say stuff, write it in the comments. Otherwise, we're going to just move on. Okay? No comment. No comment. Oh, she jumped. Well, let's move on okay what better way to move on paul mm -hmm. sports sports yes and with that here's art with this we have sports we have movies man i think this episode could be a lot better if they were a little shorter you know sports parts what do you guys think about that it's geography sports time <laughs> He's so light. All right, so let's start off with the Asian Games. Bangkok has hosted them more than any other country in Southeast Asia. Moreover, Thailand has hosted more SEA Games as well. Uh, agree, they are long nowadays. Yeah, they're just Thailand too long. Thailand also ranks high in badminton competitions, which is actually one of my favorite. Like half an hour? That's a long time. When I was in high school, I used to play a lot. For some reason, I always liked hitting that little birdie. Pun punish that little thing. Like, come on, like how necessary Thailand this exchange is, you know? I, I get people like sports, but... 
These two guys here are probably the most famous footballers in Thailand. Alexander Albin is actually the only F1 racer. Hi, hello, man. Thailand How are you doing? Has now, I actually would like them to be longer. That's interesting. So a little guessing hard, you can learn it within less than a day. <laughs> really? Ten. The three Probably would be trying it. Thailand has done well in the Olympics, weightlifting, boxing, and Taekwondo. Boxing and, and Taekwondo, of, of course. Combat sports. The moment you have all been waiting for. Best sport ever from Thailand, Muay Thai. Known as oh, the yeah. Art of eight limbs. You can hit with your fists, your shins, your elbows, and your knees. And then pow, the match begins. But do not touch people on the top of the head. It's a big no-no in Thai culture. Oh, speaking of fighting, let's talk about Krabi. I like Muay Thai. Never practiced it, but weapon martial art form. The bodyguards of the royal family must be highly trained in this martial art form as well. Competitions and performances are really cool. Okay, that was interesting. Okay, I used to take part in this unique elephant polo competition <laughs> known as the King's Cup. In that's cute. Okay, that's though, that's also nice. That that's also an interesting fact. After complaints filed by people, I like learning new team, elephant. new things. Well, they definitely complained about the elephant. Offense, but That's good. Horses. I mean, too, mm. honestly. What's up with that? Pia? I'm good. Me, when you now, doing good. fine. New haircut. That's done my great. eyebrows. Cheers. Your boy looks Thank good. You, Art. Well, fun fact about Thais. We're very competitive with beauty pageants. On any oh. given day, okay. there will be probably be some kind of beauty pageants going on with different types of people. And there's a lot of expectations. So much to talk about with Thailand's culture. So with that, here's Random Hannah to give you just a few more general overviews. Sometimes those kind of pa pageants of are very harsh. Hi guys, it's uh, good to be back. And remember, I also don't like this part. Mm. Uh, yeah, Thursday. sorry, fuck it, I'm skipping it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh wait, wait, this is about culture? Wait, oh, okay, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna watch it, you know? You are on the phone receiving Thai texts. You might see the number five a lot because in Thai, the number five is pronounced ha. So they're really just laughing. Ha ha ha. Every Thai at birth is kind of like Brazil. The they use uh, the letter K to it's laugh. It's based on an old superstition that evil spirits or beasts link silk tube skirt. And for men, you can find a chung kraven, which is a lower body silk wrap. They look good, you know, the so clothes that in Thailand, traditional. In Thailand. Everywhere you'll find the Nung Kwak. It's the beckoning lady statue that is said to bring business and love. She always does. Business and love. I need like 10 of those. Amulet culture and lucky charms are huge here. Taxis and bus drivers have ulcers on their dashes. Potting hmm. plant culture, or my doot, is a huge thing here as well. It dates back to the Ayutthaya period, in which people needed to keep plants and nice. crops I like that. in case you know. floods washed them away. Thai people are obsessed with aromatherapy. They're most popular hmm. in the form of herbal balms or nasal sprays. This right here is called a yadon. Thank you, Geography Pam, for sending this on Fan Flag Friday. You will see people with these shoved up their noses everywhere in Thailand. Did you shove this in your nose and then give it to me? Not that one. I took the green one. Thais are also really into astrology. I'm an Aquarius. I don't know what that means, but this even ties into oh, every listen. day of the week. Each day of the week. Listen, I don't like that, all right? And the reason I don't like that, and I've experienced a lot of discrimination because I'm a Gemini. Or Gemini, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Geminis? Ge I, I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, especially in the US, they're like, oh, sorry, I don't date people who are Gemini. Gemini, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, goddammit. But, I, you know, that sucks. That's horrible. I didn't even knew that was a thing. But now I hate everything related to astrology because astrology gods. I don't so know what do you, what do we do? A certain color on a certain day. In addition, there are a series of taboos. She looks like a Hannah. <laughs> she does it. She really does look like a Hannah. Oh, I hate astrology BS. That's true. I I don't believe in it. I hate it, and I hate it more because what I said. Biggest one, the Magic Tattoo Festival, Festival of Lights, the Monkey Buffet Festival. I want to go to that one. Buddhist festivals like Buddha's birthday and Maga Puja. The largest and most popular one, though, is the Songkran Festival. It is celebrated throughout all of Southeast Asia. People shoot water guns and splash each other nice. with water, and everyone gets soaked. I know who I would shoot a water gun at. My husband, because he is hot. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Here's Keith's music segment. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Random Hannah. Hate the astrology thing. Yeah, same, bro.
What's up everybody, Keith here. I am back in the wonderful state of Florida just because, well, Florida's just a million times better than California. But anyways, oh shit. Thailand knows music. You know what? Maybe it's a controversial opinion, but I actually kind of like Keith, you know? It seems everything in life incorporates it. Even before Muay Thai matches, they play music as the fighters do their ritual dances. Thais will probably say nice. the two All right. largest traditional styles are Luk Tung and Moor Lam. Luk Tung is a country folk style with lyrics that reflect the trials and tribulations of rural life. Every Thai person will say these people are probably the most iconic folk artists. Otherwise, Moor Lam is mostly performed in the northeast it is. part of the country, close to Laos. It is described as a fun... I, I, I like both, man. I can't... Listen, I love ca Southern California, Carlsbad, San Diego. Oof, that's nice. But I also enjoy Florida. Miami is probably my favorite city in the world. So. Feel. A funky feel, if know. you will. Usually folk music is a California has a nicer weather, though. Instruments such as these. I'm going to point to this list right here. Thailand dance is also pretty crazy to watch, especially Cone. It is Thailand's traditional mask dance done with golden costumes. It's pretty dope because who doesn't love gold? Everybody loves gold. In fact, I love gold. I love me some gold. Of doing complex double jointed dance gestures. I actually that trained under Chuck Norris. Otherwise, I was on the, the floor. Right? He was on the second. Oh wow! Growing in the music Shit. industry, some top performers you suggested. Imagine being California. Right? Here. Oh, Before man. I go, one band in particular that I must mention because, well, I'm Keith and I love metal bands and we all know this. You're this Keith. Point. Come um, on, bro. There's a band from Thailand which is called Retrospect and they have a song called Betrayed. Really great song. Really great band. Uh, the Sumerian core era of like bands like Born of Osiris and those influences spread throughout the world. I don't like anyway, metal music, but... Me. Thank you so much all to the Thai subscribers. You guys are really great and uh, that's it for me. That's it. Thing, right? Well, that was a lot. A lot. What are your favorite festivals of Thailand? Well, it's in Gok, Gok Pangan, yeah? It's kind of like the Burning Man kind of party, or <laughs> even Coachella, or like if you love music, mm -hmm. definitely, you would definitely go to the Full Moon party in okay. Gok Pangan. Well, one thing that Thailand is definitely known for is the way how they interact with the rest of the world. Which brings us to the final chapter of this episode, the... <laughs> I used to live in California because I have some family in, in the Inland Empire in East LA. I hate it. Thailand has quite a history of branching. Yeah, pro LA is not great. One thing's for sure, Thailand has definitely made themselves known throughout the world. Here's how kind of plays out. For one, Thailand is of course a huge international tourism hotspot, so of course everyone from Australia to Austrians love visiting, especially during peak season during December. Australia and February, to Austria is the best. So pretty much everyone. No shocker, China alone outnumbers all of them combined, taking up over a quarter of the entire tourist demographic. Obviously, as mentioned, Thailand has the largest Chinese population in diaspora outside so they're China, good. let alone having much. I want I wonder what he's gonna say about Japan. I really wonder what, what, how's that gonna play out. And mix with Thai people. The only hiccup in relations with China took place in the 50s when this former prime minister instituted lots of anti-Chinese campaigns and restrictions. Also, occasionally China keeps a close eye whenever Taiwan wants to get close to Thailand as well. Yeah. But today they are close. They share numerous bilateral agreements like a free trade zone. China Especially is East LA, partner. yeah. Their militaries cooperate and the two are cool with each other. With that, India comes in and it's more of a historic and cultural bond that dates back thousands of years within the Indo sphere. Not only did the Buddhist faith migrate out of northeastern India, some argue Nepal, let's not get into that, but the Thai language mm. also borrows a substantial amount of words from Sanskrit um, as well as Pali, okay. the sacred language of Theravada Buddhism. India has very close okay. extradition treaties, they have infrastructure investment deals, especially in the India-Myanmar-Thailand highway project, and they have a growing okay. education exchange program. The U.S. has had relations with Thailand since the 19th century when the Treaty oh, of wow. and Commerce was signed in 1833, therefore making them the first yeah. nation in Asia to to have formal diplomatic relations with the U.S. It's yes, kind of a even big deal. China. From yeah. there, relations have only grown. Later, Thailand <laughs> joined CEDAW, which led to the Rusk Tanat Agreement. In 2003, they were labeled a major non-NATO ally. However, the closest inner circle to Thailand, though, would have to be their fellow ASEAN nation countries. Granted, they've had quite a few historical wars with the Burmese, but nonetheless, best friends. Malaysia is the second largest tourist demographic, and many have family just over the border in South Thailand. Indonesia is kind of right. like a mediator between them and any drama 
that they might have on the border with Cambodia. Cambodia. The Philippines shares a lot of similar cultural tropes with Thailand. We already watched just the Philippines. The backdrop with a Catholic one, and they are almost indistinguishable. When it comes to their best friend within this group, though, nearly every single Thai person I've ever talked to has mentioned the same country, Lao. Lao is like the little huh. sister of Thailand that has well, a would you look at that? doing things, but overall, they totally get each other. It all started back in the 15th century in the Ayutthaya Kingdom, and, you know, despite being under French Indochina and having some yeah. skirmishes on the border with Thailand and claiming that the Emerald Buddha was theirs and later installing a government that kind of favored Vietnam, regardless, they are still considered the closest relatives. Yeah, shit happens, area, right? You fight Thai, with your brother all the time. They intelligible languages. They are both predominantly influenced by Buddhism. And after you peel back all the layers of historical trauma, they cannot deny that in the end, they will always be family and care for each other. In conclusion, you're the Thai people. I'm going to head out. You guys take it. Ready, set, go. Long tail boats, street vendors, lots of good food, a lot of beautiful people, and a lot of smiles. <laughs> they're, all, they're all smiling, yeah. Fun to party, fun people to hang out with. Lots of fortune tellers, empath, sensitive. <laughs> again. again, the empath <laughs> stuff, yeah. Back. That was the episode. <laughs> Hope you had a good one. Thank you guys for joining. Ooh. Thank you. Togo is coming up next. Togo? All right, that was that was good. All right, I listen. I think they're a, a little bit long. I think we could cut uh, the Hannah segment, the definitely the animal and all that stuff. Uh, we can cut that, and probably the sports. Uh, we can cut all that, and the episodes would be five to ten minutes shorter. But hey, Siamese twins comes from the two Thai conjoined twins in the U.S. Chang and Eng. Oh man, so that's how. That's why they call them Siamese twins. I didn't knew that, man. Wow, that's a very interesting fact. Holy shit. All right, so let's watch some... Let's do some What If Alt His.